筷子手，背水一战。It's a man. Mistakes get us killed. 兄弟一个都不能少。Red fire, this is. 决战三十八度线。The funny thing about just my relationship with this movie is, you know,、uh, my earliest memories are all surrounding aviation.、Um, quite literally, my first memory is burning my hand on the nose of an F-18 Hornet、uh, after an air show,、uh, a show that my dad had just been a part of. He was a Blue Angel for two years, and I was super, super young.、Um, so just like Navy bases, the smell of jet fuel, like that whole world, are like all tied to my earliest memories. So stepping into devotion has been kind of funny because it's kind of taken me back. <laughs> To those places,、uh, all over again. For me, devotion is not as much a story of、um, you know two men becoming best friends, but I, I, I think it's that nuanced and more real issue of two folks looking for a mutual understanding. You know what Jesse was going through, and and being the first black naval aviator in, in the late 40s and、uh, you know early 50s.、Um, it's just the struggle to be seen, you know, and to be and to be heard, and presenting you know Tom with the opportunity to 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 learn what that means for Jesse, and for them to learn what that means for each other. There kind of is no. Jesse Brown without Jonathan Majors,、um, you know, Jonathan brings such a depth and a richness to to Jesse. You know, we, one thing we always talked about on set is just making sure we're using all the colors in the crayon box and and you know,、um, showing Jesse's depth. <laughs> you know, and it was also important that you know it it not be this sort of long suffering stoic performance either. You know, to to. To have opportunities to focus on Jesse's joy and, you know, Jesse's excitement and Jesse's pride and and at times, you know,、um, Jesse's aggression and and weave all of that into you know a, a balanced and nuanced and complicated character.、Um, you know, Jonathan was such a partner in that process.、Um, you know, there's a lot of my father, there's a lot of myself that, and a lot of you know. Jonathan, that we all sort of see in Jesse, and I think in that way it it made the the collaboration with Jesse as a character in a film,、um, yeah, really meaningful. Glenn is one of the warmest people I've ever met, and you know, in 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 looking at how Tom Hudner is played in this film, I mean, you know, there there's a really there's a really Tricky negotiation between, you know, again this like this this warmth and、um, you know this fortitude, but then also this you know I guess this vulnerability, you know what 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 Tom is experiencing in this film and is a big thing that Glenn and I talked about was, you know it's it's a it's an era where you know the United States is really trying to define itself, you know in the in the wake of World War II and you know where we're. You know, we 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 have an enemy that is so clear and so present,、um, but then as that splinters off into you know sort of the next era in our history,、um, you know things aren't as white and black,、um, uh, and there's a lot more gray. And and meeting Tom and and what Glenn was able to do with Tom at that point in his life, you know, it's it's. It's stepping into a scenario where you know you have you have missed the great opportunity of the man maker and and how do you find yourself now you know、um, and what I love about Glenn is just you know his ability to straddle that line of you know feeling so、uh, filled with purpose yet still、uh, you know being a searcher at the same time、um, and Glenn was a great partner in being able to carve that story、uh, for Tom Hudner. Eric Messerschmidt、uh, has blessed us with an incredibly <laughs> beautiful-looking film. You know, so much of our conversations early on were really about finding this balance between modernity and、um, uh, sort of more、uh, a more classical look.、Um, 
you know, we didn't want to pour period piece to such a heavy degree all over the movie. Uh, but at the same time, you have to honor the period. Um, and so much of what we were able to do b between, you know, the, the sort of the, the color palette, the, the light and the movement is, I hope, strike that balance, you know, where, where it has this classical essence, but some of the things that we are doing and, and some of the ways in which we cover the film, you know, certainly feel, feel modern. The one thing we were able to do with Kevin and, and, and Fitz was like really be close to the Corsair. Um, when you're not worried about jet blasts, when you're not worried about all of these other things that come from um, you know, the, the, the modern aircraft, it, it lets you do something a little different. And, and you know, as you'll see in the film, I mean, there, there are moments where we take the F4U Corsair you know, to 200 miles an hour, 10 feet over the water, and Kevin and Fitz are flying 10 feet away from it in the Cinejet. So, I mean, there, there, are, there are certainly things that, you know, when you're using stunt pilots and private aircraft, not $50 million uh, government pieces of equipment, um, you're allowed to pull off some pretty impressive stunts. Um, but then also, you know, in building a story that's ostensibly a love letter to aviation, you know, to have two guys who know the planes, know aviation, you know, know the procedure, um, and, and can just really be there as a, you know, um, really as like a stalwart of authenticity. Wynn Thomas was our production designer, and, and you know, Wynn is an absolute legend with like a, a list of credits that is just, <laughs> I mean, should all be in a museum. Um, and, you know, I learned a lot from Wynn, um, uh, uh, both as a colleague and as an artist. I mean, Wynn, above all else, just is so focused on the, the you know, the heart of the film at, and at every turn. Um, and when you see devotion and the richness and authenticity of its world, um, you know, that is all sort of indicative of Wynn's conviction. Um, I think there are so many talented people in this business, but you know, to, to, to have like both a friend and honestly even a mentor out of Wen, given his experience, um, you know, it, it is something I will treasure for the rest of my life. You know, an audience stepping away from devotion, um, you know, I want them to feel a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> I want them to know Jesse, and I want them to, to see and understand, you know, what Tom went through, you know, in pursuit of that friendship. Um, I want them to have had fun. Uh, we put a lot of airplanes in the sky and did some pretty fun things with them. And, you know, I, I hope an audience uh, uh, has as much fun watching that as I do. Um, you know, I want, uh, I, I want people to have yet another black hero. You know, I mean, what Jesse did was remarkable. And uh, I, I think, you know, he, he, he certainly deserves to be, you know, in, in the, the canon of, you know, uh, our, our country's heroes.